We're KRVN Sports. I'm Jason Jorgensen. Nebraska native and former UNK women's head coach Carrie Amy was named the new head coach at the University of South Dakota this week. And she talks about this great opportunity. Obviously, the, the timing was a little bit surprising for us as, um, you know, we've only only been out in Idaho for a year. But, um, yeah, like you said, it's it's one of those opportunities that we've wanted for a long time. Um, you know, having been in the Midwest and at Kearney for so many years, um, you know, we kind of had a front row seat to to um, their program and, and just have had a ton of respect for for the success there and the, the, the environment and the support that they, they uh, you know, have for women's basketball. So, um, yeah, we're super excited about the opportunity. Um, obviously, moving back home to the, to the Midwest is, is also something we're really, really excited about. How big of a help was it for you this time around applying for South Dakota because you were certainly in the running for this job and it was open just two years ago? Yeah, really, really helpful. Um, obviously, the administration is, is is different than was there last time, so that was a little bit new. But um, you know, the 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 familiarity with with um, you know just South Dakota, their campus, um, you know, just just um, all the details that you kind of need to be familiar with um, when you go into an interview. Um, I felt like, yeah, I was way more prepared this time around, having been through it just a couple years ago. Now, uh, you spent the year out in Idaho. Every every division is different. You were just a touch under 500. It sounds like you had to deal with some injuries and things. What's what's maybe the, the biggest thing you learned out at Idaho that you think might help you in Vermilion? Yeah, I mean, although it was uh, obviously a quick experience, um, you know, I, I feel like uh, I learned so much about, uh, you know, just running a Division One program. Uh, you know, I feel like the coaching, the basketball part, it's basketball is basketball and coaching is coaching. And, and, um, you know, I felt like I was pretty comfortable in that, in, in, in that regard. Um, but, but really for us, it was, um, you know, you, you grow a staff from three to six people, um, you know, and, and learning, how do you, how do you, uh, utilize all of those staff members so that you're maximizing their talents and also, um, you know, being able to, to maximize, uh, what you can do uh, with your team and and in your program. So, um, you know, just learned a ton about um, managing a bigger staff and, and uh, really managing um, lots more resources um, and, and lots more people involved in your program. Um, you know, there's just uh, so many more staff members at, at that level. And so, um, you know, just really learning um, how to delegate and, and uh, also – um, you know, just making sure that on a day-to-day basis you're, you're putting your program in, in the best position to be successful. I know you, uh, you guys wanted to get back to the Midwest and be able to do this in an established program. I would think that's just got to be uh, fabulous for you. Yeah, it's been it's, uh, fantastic. Um, you know, we really couldn't, couldn't have, uh, you know, picked a better, better place or a better opportunity. Um, again, uh, you know, South Dakota is, is a – is a job I've wanted for a really long time. And, um, you know, it's truly an honor and a privilege for me to have this opportunity. And um, we, we're super excited to, to get to work and, and um, you know, get back uh, to South Dakota. Um, I'm, I'm spending a day here in Idaho trying to, to grab a few things and, and get back. So uh, really looking forward to, uh, um, you know, getting to work. And I'm sure your phone has uh, blown up from – family and friends in, in Nebraska and back this way. I'm, I'm sure they're all happy that uh, you're headed back around here too. Yeah, for sure. You know, that's been super special to just hear from so many people um, that, are, that are really excited about having us, you know, be closer. And, um, you know, it, that's, that's really special, uh, you know, even with my parents, you know, um, for most of my career, they've been just down the road. Um, and so this is, uh, really exciting for our families uh, to be able to to be closer and and um, obviously uh, yeah we've uh, my phone has been very busy uh, over the last couple of of days and and uh, super grateful you know for for all those those people reaching out and and uh, you know it's it's uh, the Midwest is a special place as well and the basketball world is is a pretty small small world really so. Um, yeah, we've definitely felt the love, and, and we're really, really uh, looking forward to being back home. 
And that was new. University of South Dakota head women's basketball coach Carrie Amy. Both Carrie and her husband Devin, who's an assistant on her staff, will be formally introduced at a press conference on Tuesday in Vermilion. For KRVN Sports, I'm Jason Jorgensen.